So let's call this meeting to order. And today is the 14th of July finance committee meeting. And uh, tonight we have a short agenda. All we're gonna be doing uh, pretty much is doing some fund transfers. So year end fund transfers and Linda yep. and go through the whole thing with us. Yes. Um, and if did you each, the, the finance committee members that are there and I'll send it to anyone else. Um, I see Bill's on now. I sent him one. Um, if they want them, did did you get what I sent? It was really only about half hour, forty minutes ago. Yes. Yeah. All right. I have it on my okay. screen now. Okay, but um, we'll definitely go through it. But so uh, for everyone's sake, what we have is a single um, a single page and a listing of year end transfers. Um, what we had uh, decided to do when we were talking uh, last week and we involved Amy in it is to do all of the year end transfers out of the reserve fund. Um, for those of you not familiar with the system at the very end of the year, the finance committee and the, and the select board uh, can move between approved budgets. So if there's extra money in one budget, they can move it over to a budget that has run low. Um, and this is typically done at the end of the year uh, and it involves a joint meeting of the select board and the finance committee. Now we weren't ready because we still had another but uh, another warrant or two to get through last week and select board wasn't meeting this week. And we realized we had enough money in the reserve fund to cover it all. So we decided to make all the transfers out of reserve fund and have it in con and so that the finance committee could do it without meeting with the select board. We did have one portion of it that we did cover with select board last, uh, last week. So I can do it either order, uh, Amy, if you uh, either the um, reserve fund transfers or the, what was the other, the um, chapter 90. You want to do the fund transfers? Okay. All right. Number one, um, finance committee, $95. Um, I think at some point during the year, Carolyn put in it for MMA dues or program or something that one of you attended. So your budget ran $95 short. That'd be me. I went to it. <laughs> okay. Totally <Good>. worthwhile. <laughs> and uh, the second, we'll just get ourselves out of the way. The second is uh, during the transfer uh, to uh, with the town administrators. And second is the treasurer's uh, stipend that we worked out with the select board and finance committee that I would um, uh, uh, take charge of the budget, the administratively handling the budget. And uh, so there's, so my budget uh, did not have the $5,000 in it. And that's, it was done as a stipend so that um, it would not stick with a treasurer's salary. You know, if the administrator decided to handle it next year or, or move it to someone else, it's not part of treasurer's salary. So we did it as a separate stipend. And I think I got that in a few weeks ago to you and I don't think you, you, you didn't handle it then. So we're just handling everything at once here. Third item on the list is legal expenses. Um, they were under budgeted by, well, it's hard to say under budget because you don't, uh, we don't, it's, it's, you know, budgeting is just your best guess, uh, that, um, for educated guess. So we had, um, $35,000 legal budget and, uh, 37,000 was spent. So considering the cost of it, that's a $2,000. Uh, the specific reasons for the overrun that we had a, a number of additional things that weren't anticipated when the budget was done over a year ago were uh, related to North Hadley Village Hall is probably the single item that that um, has has caused the overrun. Um, I'll do the third and fourth, the, the fourth and fifth together because there are, uh, there's the planning board and the zoning board. Um, they have a budget for legal notices and advertisements when, when they uh, have to advertise a hearing. Um, they, uh, these both came up interesting towards the end of the year because a lot of the early part of the year, a lot of things were quite, um, weren't really moving very much due to COVID and then, uh, it picked up in the spring. So, uh, planning board ended up being about $850 short on their, for their, uh, advertising budget for legal notices and ZBA was a thousand dollars short. Um, next, um. Uh, and we and we have Susan on. Um, Susan, you want to talk about the? Uh, actually, if you want to handle both of the insurance ones, even though they're not next to each other. Sure. Yeah. Um, the property and liability insurance, because we vote the budgeted amount 
um, well, typically at our, uh, you know, at our annual town meeting, insurance companies will not give us their renewal figures until probably the beginning of June because they don't want anybody to go out to bid, um, which years ago that, that made sense uh, to them, but now there's no, there's no competition. Um, so, so David kind of guesstimated at 146, 173, the actual policies came in at 154. So, you know, we're, I think we can close the gap on, you know, $8,000 uh, going forward um, by looking at loss runs and all that kind of thing. Um, but it wasn't done. And so, it, you know, we'll never have the exact figure from the insurance company when we actually vote it. Uh, and the other one, police and fire um, accident insurance. Uh, workers' comp in Massachusetts specifically excludes police and fire from being covered under a workers' comp policy. So we have to buy uh, what's what is police and fire accident coverage. They all come with thousand dollar deductibles. So um, these are the difference here is the deductibles that were paid out due to incidences or accidents. And one thing I want to point out on insurance is this list, you're just seeing the shortfalls. What you're not seeing is the budgets where it went the other way. <laughs> right. Uh, so uh, we have uh, insurance budgets that are misunderstood. Uh, mis uh, uh, that are misestimated the other way too. Not misestimated, they're estimated well, but that's oh, how right. it works out. Yeah, so so we have uh, more than enough going the other way, but these are the ones we have to deal with. Um, the uh, the last two are under DPW. One is uh, we're looking for 43,000 more in the, uh, DP, uh, in the highway budget. And there's a couple things I wanna say about that there. If you have their, um, uh, one of the attachments was the, uh, the the summary of each of these departments and where you know so you can see the budget how they are in the negative. Um, the thing with highway oh the the single line item if you see is eighty thousand dollars in the hole that is completely the what is the tree that says uh, the arborist vegetation management services that's our that's the tree work and there were a number of storms and they need to get out and do tree work and there is deferred maintenance. And so that is, they really took a whack in that line um, this year. The other thing I'll point out about that, if you're looking at that, you'll see, well, it looks okay. It looks at their bottom line there uh, in the positive there to 16,000. Yes, they are. But remember at town meeting, we vote salaries and we vote expenses. And they actually are over $40,000 left over in the salary section. And so um, they're looking for about that the same amount down in the expense section. So when it comes right down to the, the highway budget uh, between the two is actually not, not really overspent. Um, and the other thing is, if you look and you see that it's 35,000 in the hole there, but we're asking for 43, that's where the other attention, uh, uh, the other uh, attachment, which was encumbrances, at this time of year, when uh, someone does, when the actual invoices aren't received yet, and the department has no something is outstanding, um, he's he has about eight thousand dollars in in that category of work that has been ordered or, and, or the services or the product hasn't arrived yet. So he's encumbering. He needs the money held from the twenty one budget to cover those expenses. So we're looking for forty three thousand out of that. And lastly, oh, Susan was going to talk to because she talked to Gary Berg today about the uh, cemetery expenses. Um, Susan, on yeah, the um, apparently when uh, the cemetery mowing went out to bid, um, they awarded the bid based on a per mowing um, charge, not an annual charge as it had been done in the past. So, you know, if somebody uh, had bid annually 41,000, and I'm just throwing a number out here, 41,000. However, uh, that would cover all mowings that were necessary. Now that they have a per mowing and there is one year left in this contract, 
Um, they are making 500 and I don't know, maybe $26 per mow. So if it needs to be mowed more often, this will run over. Um, and I did talk to Carolyn about this uh, this afternoon and she is um, prepared to make sure that all of our contracts are done on an annual basis versus, you know, this per one off deal. So, uh, so we'll move forward with that one. Yep. So that's 3,600 we're looking for in that budget. If I didn't say it, I, th I think I might've skipped that part. So the total of these, what, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, I think 10, um, is uh, $68,645. And again, this isn't an entire budget overrun. These are individual departments that need money from others. We, they, we, the budget still is, is balanced, but we just have to move. This is moving between departments and uh, in this case, reserve fund because you're a department. Um, so um, you have $69,519 in your reserve and this will use up most of it. <laughs> actually. So um, we have been through this, uh, Lori and I and Susan and Jennifer and Carolyn have all been working on getting, pulling these numbers together and we're happy to a answer any other questions you might have. So is this 60 some thousand, is that after you subtract the, um, the, the underestimates in the other direction? No. Oh. So if you know what I mean, like, so, so some of them are shortfalls and some of them are um, over budget, so um, some are under budget and some are over budget. Uh, some departments or you mean yeah. like, yeah, some departments. Um, no, we, they are, they're not netted in any, oh. any department that has funds left over. That's just going to flow into free cash. Okay. Right. So, and it doesn't really matter where it comes from. If we took this, these out of other budgets that did have extra money in it, then your 69,000 would flow into free cash. Okay. It doesn't matter which department we take it from because the overall budget is still fine. And we are, we do anticipate um, uh, getting some, um, some good amounts. And that's all I really want to say. I don't want to guess and then be wrong, but um, there are amounts that are going to be coming back from a number of uh, budgets uh, at the end of the year. And that goes into what the, is called free cash. That's what's certified by the state each year to say how much money we have to work with going forward. Got it. And one of the things that we talked about, sorry, the dog's chiming in. One of the things that we talked about was this, this kind of makes it cleaner for us to keep eyes on where things might be going in the future uh, to prevent this. So. Mm -hmm. That's an agreement, correct? From the dog. Uh, yes. Definitely. That was a yay. That counts as a yay. <laughs> Making sure, you know, could be the Dalmatians are missing again. You know. Okay. <laughs> Right. So if uh, anybody has anything else, or if not, do I have a motion to um, uh, approve the fund transfers as stated? I'll make a motion to approve the fund transfers as stated at $68,645 from the reserve fund. Second. So uh, first and a second. Um, any more discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 So I believe, do we have to do a roll call? I think we do. Oh, good right. point, Amy. Good so, point. So uh, Biden is yes. Benjamin? Yes. Hood? Yes. Levine? Yes. Thank you. So you have four in attendance? Four in attendance. Four zero zero. All right, thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, one other matter of business from, from our end. I don't know if you have other things to go over, but the other is the, uh, um, we have had over a number of years accumulated deficit in the chapter 90 funds. Chapter the uh, high, that, that, those are highway funds that are spent each year and then they are subject to reimbursement from the state. They need to be spent first. 
So this is this is a, uh, a an account that's always in the negative because you're spending the money first and then you're getting a reimbursement. But by the time you get the reimbursement for what you spent, you've spent more money into the next year. So um, it is always in the negative, and so it, there has to be attention spent to it. Uh, it's, you know, we need to pay attention um, to know the amounts that are in there that did not get reimbursed. This is something that goes back, I think, to 2016. This is uh, so what is supposed to happen each year, what ought to happen, I should say, what ought to happen each year is if you're coming up short a few thousand dollars from what the state reimburses, that then it, that the um, the deficit needs to come out of one of the operating budgets it should get paid out of highway or, or whichever. Yeah, highway, <laughs> since they are the, that's them. Um, but it really hasn't been happening. And then the trouble with having a negative account is when the certified free cash, when the cash is calculated for certification, that's a negative against the balance that we have. Okay. So we're virtually paying it each year because we've got a negative account that they use in adding up our cash. So our um, accountant, Lori Del Lolio from Lions and Heath said, let's, let's clean this up. And um, the, the total then over the several years is $22,000. Um, she says, this isn't gonna happen anymore. She's the end of each year. This is something I'm gonna pay attention to is we're gonna see what wasn't reimbursed and we're gonna make sure this comes out of the operating funds. And, and that's great. This is our first year with, uh, with her too. So we have a number of uh, things that we're working out with new people this year and um, some improvements like that, that we really like. But um, in the interim then, we are asking that $22,000 be transferred into the chapter 90 account to square us going forward. And that will come out of, ooh, I wrote it down. That will come oh, out of the health, health insurance account. I'm just looking for the number. I think it was 914. 914. So okay. The 914 health insurance account, which is I, I believe up at least 40 or 40 or 80. <laughs> um, yeah, that, there's plenty of money left in that account. So um, we, we want to move that over and take care of that going forward. We need a vote. So we're looking for 22,000, please, in that transfer. So do we have a motion for the $22,000 transfer from, um, what did you say it was from the- From the from uh, health insurance 914. Yeah. I'll make a motion. Okay. That we uh, approve a $22,000 transfer from health insurance account 914 to the uh, chapter 90 funds mm -hmm. to cover the accumulated debts in that fund in those amounts. So I, I hear Paul made the motion and Valerie seconded the motion. Uh, so do we have any other discussion? No? Okay, all in favor, I'll do all the right. roll call. Uh, Biden, yes. Benjamin? Yes. Hood? Yes. And Levine? Yes. Great. So four, uh, zero, zero. Thank you. And for clarification, for those who uh, pay attention, this is one that comes out of a depart other departmental budget and therefore requires the uh, uh, the support of both the finance committee and the select board. Select board took this up at their meeting last week and um, and did their share of the approval. And with your approval, it goes through and it is something that that we can do. So this has been done correctly and by by July fifteenth, um, which is what it's supposed to be. And maybe the first time we've actually met that date in quite a few years. So um, things are it's looking good. So right. thank you very much. I have a few more questions for you, Linda. What is the, I, I saw that you gave us the fiscal year 21 Hadley encumbrance request by DPW. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's that about? Yeah. Um, that was just to, those, that provided the extra 8,000 that we were looking for in, in the highway that you approved. So we, if you look at the budget oh. for the highway, it was 35,000 was needed. Then we add in the encumbrances and it brought it to 43. So you. You, it's been it's been handled, but um, normally encumbrances come out of what's left over in a budget and there wasn't anything left over. So okay. you transferred the money in for us. Thank you. Got it. Thank you. And then the last is what I see that, uh, what do we need to sign to get to you? Just the one page of reserve tr uh, fund transfers? Um, you know, yeah. Yes, yes, but I wonder, um, 
I see that Lori put in five slots, I guess. Can you each, each sign and send something back or authorize Amy to sign? I can, I can print out, I can print it out one and sign it and scan it. Okay. And, it and send it around. And then the That's next legit. Can sign it and the next part, if, assuming people can print it out and scan it and return it. And if you can't, you're welcome to stop by uh, town hall and, okay. and do it. We're open full hours now. And uh, it would just be the four who were in attendance, in attendance tonight. Right. All right. So, um, Valerie or Alexi, if you happen to be around tomorrow at all, you can stop by my office too. I'll print it after Paul sends it to me. I'll print it out. I can do that. It's, it's easier. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. So, um, great. So we'll get that over to you. Um, the only other thing I have for the meeting tonight, I don't have much more, is. Um, I'd like to set up another meeting. <laughs> um, there's more to talk about. Um, Dylan uh, sent over a few things that he would like to talk about, but he's not here. So I'd rather not deal, talk about things tonight and, and put it on the agenda and talk about it down the road. So um, when he is here. Um, so if we could set up another time to meet and just, uh, uh, um, I guess, touch base on you know, what our, what our plan is and looking forward to the uh, fall town meeting <laughs> and come up with something. Okay. So if everyone can give me a time that might work, is it a Wednesday? Good. Wednesday is a week are we meeting. talking about? Are we talking about next week or? No, I wouldn't, I would say sometime in August. Okay. Oh, August. Okay. So, I, if, what's the best day? Wednesdays are fine. Wednesdays are all good? Okay. Yeah, the only one I have a late, later meeting on is ter currently the 20th of oh, August. I'm sorry. I think the 21st. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. The 18th, I have a, a meeting that doesn't end until 5, 530. Okay. So, that would be the only week uh wednesday that would be bad for me so, and this uh, and the select board meet i believe the fourth and the 18th so you won't want to do it that day so that we can have yeah. coverage so the 11th 11th or the 25th 11th it sounds good works for me works for you okay works for me all right let's pencil that in and let's look for the 11th as our next day and we'll come up with Oh, you signed it already? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to scan it. I'll scan it in two, two minutes. When we're done here, I'm going to scan it and send it. Amy, you want to send it to you? Yes, please. Okay. So what time are we doing the 11th? Is it at 530 again? Sure. 530. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. Okay. And if there's anything uh, you want me to list on the agenda, please just send it my way and I'll put it on the agenda. Okay. Anything to discuss? Wonderful. All right, so in motion sounds good. Unless you do you have anything else, Linda, or, or no, Susan? I'm all we're all set. <laughs> oh, the dog's good, Susan. <laughs> I love your haircut, both of you. It's nice that we can get our haircut again, isn't it? It was, uh, it was, a, it was October to uh, to June, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a long time. <laughs> Mine just falls out, so <laughs> all right. The motion to adjourn, second, all in favor. Bye. Bye. All right. See you later. Hit the red button. Bye. Bye. Bye.